Hey y'all, welcome back to American Boy Collects American Girl. So I got a little bit of an unboxing video today. Um, so I got my order um, on Tuesday uh, from I Dream of Johnny. In case you don't know this, he is a uh, fellow collector of American Girl products. Um, he really is big on the original Pleasant Company first editions. Um, when they first were released, um, especially for the first original dolls, like Kirsten, Samantha, Molly, Felicity, and Addie. Um, he has since gotten into some of the other stuff, like Courtney's World and also Truly Me's. Um, especially, yeah, I don't think there's one of us collectors that didn't get um, <laughs> some money taken out of our bank account because we purchased <laughs> dolls at the year-end clearance um, at the end of 2023. Um, so yeah, so he's got some of those too. Um and uh i think it was almost a year ago now i want to say it's almost a one year anniversary that um he op finally opened his shop called uh johnny's doll shop but then he ended up moving and he uh, had a temporary on hiatus and then when he uh finally relaunched the shop again this year he renamed it so it matches his uh youtube channel so both the shop and his youtube channel are i dream of johnny so i got the order from him um Fun fact, I actually, I don't remember if it was the first, I can't remember if I saw his video announcing the opening of the uh, the store online, um, if it was the same day or like the day after, I can't remember, but it was like right when he first got it, so I quickly went over just to see what he had. Um, so there's actually one thing he had that I didn't have, and it was for Molly. I don't know what happened with Molly and Emily. Um, but like when they started retiring all the characters back, um, in the early 2000s, like we made sure to get like a ton of Samantha stuff, a ton of Nelly stuff. I think everything for Nelly. And later on when they started the Be Forever rebrand, I made sure to get a bunch of Ruthie's stuff when she was retired. Um, and, um, you know, we got Kirsten stuff. We got Felicity stuff. And then I know we didn't get a lot for Elizabeth because her stuff was so pricey even back then. At like, hers, a lot of hers was like $40 back then. Um, or close to it anyway, like well over 30 Um Yeah, I don't know what happened with mine. Emily, we didn't get a lot of the stuff. And like one of the things we were really big on was trying to get the stuff that went with each of the six book sets, especially the outfits, mostly the outfits, not so much all the accessories and everything else. But a lot of Molly stuff I was missing. We never, uh, the rain slicker retired before I got it, and we didn't get her birthday dress. Um, I think I got, I can't remember what else was there was, but there was a lot of stuff I was missing for Molly. I don't think we had her pajamas even. So, yeah, we didn't have that because I got that, I just got that last year. So I'm like, this is crazy, like how I was missing so much for Molly. But anyway, the one thing that he had that we didn't have, let me grab it real quick was her birthday dress so i'm actually going to show you what i got last year because i never did it well, it was only this one piece so i never showed anyone um this before so we're going to do that so this is fun this outfit actually comes with a pair of socks actually i didn't i don't know if i did i take this out of the bag last year i know i opened it to see it i must have taken it out of the bag i had to have anyway so these are the fun little socks okay little stuff like shoes and socks i'm always not getting this right all right anyway fun little red trim it's got like um yeah, it's almost like a little bit of a see-through kind of sock anyway um yeah this is her birthday dress um so yeah it's the white dress almost like a pinafore apron kind of dress sleeveless um got the tie it goes around the back and then this fun Red, green, and blue rick rack, um, and then velcros down the back, and then you tie it off. And then it's got the fun little pockets. Oops, little pockets in the front. So yeah, it was kind of fun. Um, so, but the funny thing was, was that okay? So he only had the dress and the socks. So um, I had actually went looking online. It was like literally the next day I found somebody um, selling Molly's birthday dress with socks. But she also had the crown, the yellow balloon, and also the holder so Molly could hold the balloon. Um, and also, Happy Birthday Molly book. And it was a different cover than the ones we the one we had. Um, so originally, I was like, okay, I'm going to just get that. Because that's really cool that she has a balloon. Because I'd really love to have the balloon. Because, like, you know, it always showed in the catalog Molly holding the balloon behind the table. So I was like, okay, that's really cool. And I didn't really care if I didn't get the rest of the accessories that went with the balloon. <laughs> but, <coughs> excuse me. But also had the um, 
the holder to hold the balloon. Um, so I got that because I was thinking in the back of my mind, I was saying, okay, you know what? And I guess I guess the one from the other seller, not I Dream of Johnny, there was like some yellowing or something, discoloring on the ties. Anyway, so I was originally thinking, okay, misplaced a sock. <laughs> I was like, I hope I didn't drop that on the floor. Um, so anyway, I went and got that, and I was thinking in the back of my mind that, oh, well, I can just, I would just sell, since the other one has a little bit of an issue, I'll just sell the other dress and the tie and the socks. I'll keep the one I got, I'll keep the dress and the socks I got from Jonathan, and then I will sell the other ones, and then, um, then it all of a sudden hit me, wait a second, this is actually really cool that I ended up with two of these, because if you look at the pictures in the storybook for Happy Birthday Molly, or even in the catalog, the storyline was that Molly and Emily actually went twinned and they actually had the same dress. So this is actually one time where I'm not upset that I ended up with two of the same dress. Um, so what I'll do is when I do the birthday, when I feature the birthday outfits, I'll put Molly and Emily in the dresses. And Molly, obviously, since Molly was the main character, I'll put Molly in the crown. Emily won't have the crown, but she'll have the same dress and socks. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of fun. Um, and maybe I can get the dinginess out, washed out of it or something. We'll see. Anyway, so that was that. I just wanted to start with that real quick. Um, let's see. Put you over there. Behind you that back later all right so now for the actual order i just got um so okay so my main thing i really well everything was my main thing um so yeah i really was after this um i was really excited to see he had a bunch he gotten a bunch of these when they went on uh, when they got rid of them uh really cool beret um, I actually saw somebody just unbox their Emily doll they just got, and they had Molly in her meat outfit, but they actually had the Jane and Jack beret, not her beret, because it had the pom-pom on top, so that was kind of cool. But one reason I wanted this was, okay, so I got, I went crazy when I first saw the Jane and Jack clearance sale, and also Love Shack Fancy last January 2023, I bought everything that was available. They had like one big bundle of Love Jack Fancy and then everything else was single for the other one. The only thing that was missing for Jane and Jack was the beret that was already sold out. And at that time, I didn't have a baby baby. I didn't have a Wally Wisher. So I didn't buy those two dresses either. Um, but I really wanted this because I was like, why wasn't the one that had the skirt that matches the boy's outfit the actual outfit instead of the rose dress because I would have rather had that one so you could have made sure you got the beret with the hall outfit anyway so I was like very frustrated so all year I'm like well, like this is one page I have open is eBay Jane and Jack beret um and trying to find it, it was like it like runs for like forty dollars and it's like insane and I was like don't want to pay that so so finally in december of 2023 i found somebody selling a lot so i actually got and and she had it in the original packaging for everything so i don't think that person had ever used anything because it was this box and it and the sticker was still sealed on it it was brand new and then i went and i found another one that um obviously the box had been opened and it looked like that one had been used because it was kind of had like some fuzzy stuff on it so I was kind of bummed, and that was like thirty dollars. So I mean, that was still better than forty. But um, yeah, so I'm like, when I saw this, I'm like, I kept 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 an eye on his shop because I was like, hope they don't sell out. Because I was actually waiting to get the, um, a replica of Samantha's whistle that goes with her sailor outfit. And if you're wondering, that's why they're hanging out behind me. Because <laughs> I actually was actually very curious since I still had, I just dawned on me like a couple days ago, like, oh, I still have Samantha in that outfit that that goes with. So it'd be actually kind of cool to do a comparison. I just am really kind of intrigued to see. I'm not doubting you anything if you happen to watch my video, but I'm like, I just had to see the comparison side by side of the authentic Pleasant Company. Um, whistle versus his replica because i guess that's awfully hard to find i guess because like i was looking one time for like 20 over 20 dollars for just the whistle i'm like i don't think so people <laughs> anyway um, so i'm so excited to get this so probably that 30 dollar one i'll sell because that was used and the box was like had a dent like around where the upc is so yeah i am going to take this out just in case you haven't seen that i can't remember if i did 
I don't think I did unboxing videos yet of the beret because it wasn't with anything major. But um, there is a video coming out with the Street Sheet Girls and number 92 is actually wearing the Twilight Blue outfit. And I actually used one, the other beret with that. So this is what the beret looks like. Um, it's very, I think, I think in some respects it is kind of similar to Molly's. I haven't seen Molly's in a while, so I can't remember, except for the fact that it has a pom-pom. The other one just has a sort of like, I don't even know how to describe it, like a tab kind of thing, like a loop or something on the top, I believe it is. But yeah, I and mean, this is so fun. So yeah, I actually have it paired with a Twilight Blue outfit on my 92. Um, so, and I will be doing somebody in the one that pairs with the boys outfit at some point. <laughs> All right, so that is the hat. But what I was after on here, so he has the, oh good, they are in separate, separate things. Oh, he put the, oh sweet, he put the whistle with the uh, hair ribbons. Okay, so, um, one thing I wanted, two things I wanted, um, Samantha's hair ribbons, Felicity's hair ribbons, because I got Felicity's gala gown, and I am waiting, I'm still waiting, I hope it comes back before the end of the month, but I'm just waiting for Felicity to come back from the doll hospital with a new head. Um, a second Felicity, because I got her is going to, yeah, her is going to go in. Okay, she's going to go in the gala outfit, so I'm going to have both Felicities in both Christmas outfits. But I needed the hair ribbon, the cream one, to go with her. Of course, now that I'm thinking about it, if I do a head replacement, they usually have the hair accessory. Okay, we'll see. Maybe I don't need it. Anyway, but I did, was intrigued to find that the original hair accessories, um had uh, the original hair ribbon replacements had a green one for the riding outfit and the riding outfit never came with a hair ribbon so that's kind of interesting that the hair ribbon packet that they sold from pleasant company was actually had one for the riding outfit when it never actually had it so i don't know if that was like an afterthought kind of thing after they released it but they never actually adjusted it to go with it i don't know it's kind of cool so i definitely wanted the green one to go with it so i figured it was actually cheaper to buy the hall set that he had for felicity um and actually the the berry red one actually might actually look nicer with the berry because it's like a red and gold kind of combo um for that so we'll see i'll see i'll definitely i'm excited to have that anyway um and then samantha's i needed for the second christmas outfit because so i got i finally got the red one um, but the red had like kind of blood on the stockings. The stockings were kind of stretched out also, so I had to get replacement stockings. But I needed to get the hair bow also, so I figured I'd just get it from him. Because I wasn't sure where I'd end up finding <laughs> the hair bow separately. Um, but it was kind of fun too. So yeah, I also wanted the school hair bow because, um, I have a school outfit. And I'm trying, trying to, um, so if I did sell them, I'm not sure if I'm going to sell them separately as outfits or sell get a couple like use Samantha dolls to resell and then actually sell them with an outfit that wasn't what she came in originally anyway but I wanted that for that but I wanted to um I wanted the um whistle because I had the sailor dress that I got to still wash but I also at some point last year I also purchased the um actually come to think of it here's a funny thing um it's actually the seller I bought the other Molly outfit from. Uh, I also got the Snowball Christmas outfit for the girl today. But then I also she was also selling just Samantha's sailor hat separately. So I got the hat to go with the dress. And now I have the whistle to go with it. And this is really cool. I don't know where... So hang on, let me bring... Let me just move this stuff out of the way real quick. Put you right there. Get this paper out of here. All right, bring Samantha in. Oh, I didn't really want to show you that, but I'll, okay, you're not going to get a full glimpse of Samantha because, <laughs> little teaser, she's going to be the next to get her outfits changed. So I'm actually going to do something fun. Um, I haven't done, I just did Molly and Emily, and I'm actually featuring Molly and Emily in all the variations of their Christmas outfits for the Fashion Week. Um, but I'm also going to do Samantha because I, well, I'm going to be changing Samantha soon, but I thought what would be really fun in May for my countdown to Christmas on the 25th, I wanted to feature Molly, Samantha, and Kirsten. So the first original three all together, because I haven't, I haven't changed up Samantha or Kirsten yet, but I just did Molly and Emily. So next up, I'll be working on Samantha and Nellie, and then the second Samantha, and then 
hopefully some point, I don't know if it'll be before the 1st of May, but hopefully sometime soon do Kirsten. But yeah, so here is the whistle. So let's see. I forgot what. It, okay, yeah, it is on. Okay, it's on a cord. That's right. I couldn't remember what it was on. That's kind of fun. All right. So yeah, this is the. Wow. Holy moly. That is so crazy. Okay, yeah, it's definitely very. Oops. I mean, my hand is in the way so you can't see it. Very similar. It looks like the Pleasant Company has a little bit more of a gold tint to it. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so yeah. And I think the top is a little bit different. I don't know if there were variations to Samantha's um, whistle or not. Let me see if I can hold this a little bit so it's not moving. But yeah, there is the comparison. So the top is a little bit different. I don't know if you can see that in there. But yeah, and the color is a little bit different too. But I mean, but in all honesty, I'm kind of glad the color is different. So that way I know, okay, this one's the Pleasant Company. This one's the um, Replica one. But yeah, that's kind of really cool. So yeah, if you don't have the whistle, you might want to check them out. Um, and I think he was getting low on stock. So I don't know if he's going to have more made of it or not. But yeah, very cool. Um, so yeah, so Samantha, because I didn't want you to see quite what she all had on. So I had her kind of out of view. <laughs> because I had I this was the best okay this is probably the one i'm gonna have the hardest time changing because that was always probably my favorite outfit for samantha was her sailor outfit but i got some of the other summer accessory stuff going on so i was kind of trying to keep that out of the camera lens <laughs> so you might have got a little teaser there uh but yeah so we'll definitely be featuring samantha and uh, nelly next month and hopefully kirsten also uh, we will see but anyway so i just wanted to unbox that so yeah that was it for today so the hair ribbons so yeah, there's for Felicity's cream, blue, green, and the berry color. Uh, I believe the berry went with the school outfit. Green was the uh, riding outfit. Blue was the Christmas dress. And then cream was the meat one. And then Samantha's. Obviously, you couldn't do the plaid or the burgundy check one that came with her because that was a fabric, not an actual ribbon ribbon. Um, but I believe it was just three, if I'm seeing this right. I really liked the pink one. I don't remember the pink one with the tea dress, but I think there was one. Um, but the pink one goes with the tea dress. The black one goes with the school outfit. And then the white one went with the Christmas outfit. So I needed the white one for the Christmas outfit. Because I didn't do... Well, if I did a head replacement for Samantha, it would have been the burgundy check one she'd come back with. Because I already have that one. And the one I'm going to sell at some point. Um, yeah, I'll try to put that back in. So yeah. That is really cool. Okay, so yeah, that was my little quickie unboxing. And sometime I'll do the other one because I want to do that because I got actually two sets from the other sellers. So I got what I was saying about Molly's, the second Molly birthday outfit with all the other stuff. And then I got the snowball outfit from um, Girl of Today. And I got Sailor Hat. And then I also, later I also got Melody's Meat Accessories, um, an earlier version of them. And also her dog. So that's, <laughs> I'll do that all in another video. Um, but yeah, so this is what I have for today. Um, let me know what you think. Have you bought from him? If not, you should go check it out. He also has some other stuff. He has now this, since he relaunched the store, he also has merchandise. Like you can actually buy, like, I don't know what they call it, fan based merchandise where like shoes and bags and um, cell phone co covers that have the iconic um prints that you know like samantha's burgundy check or felicity's uh rose tea garden from their meat outfits um or the argo i think it's the argo for molly and then uh i forget what it's for jose Does she have to no wait, i don't know i don't think he had josefina i think it's just the first five but the pink print for um addy and kirsten's blue from her dress yeah, so just check him out. He's he's got a lot of cool stuff, and he also has some other stuff for like restringing the arms on the legs. Um, yeah, just go check out his shop. Um, I Dream of Johnny, that's his website or and his uh, YouTube channel. Um, very cool. And I will see you guys next time. You guys have a great day. Like and subscribe. Let me know what you thought of that little haul. And see you next time.